all right hey youtubers so in this video is going to be the basics of a inertial space drive or inertial space drive that's a very crude setup it's, it's just you know in its most basic form but the idea is there I think and so what it is is just a, a weight of some mass hanging off of um, basically like sort of like two pendulums uh, it doesn't have to be a wheel uh, I tried doing some gyroscopic experiments trying to get an upwards thrust but it's, it's too difficult I ba I created this frame right here uh, and I had this thing hanging off of there and I was trying to you know I had it on two pulleys up here to try to get a scale for any kind of weight loss and I didn't get any but what it showed me was that there is no centrifugal force in the gyroscope so the idea was to get the gyroscope you know spinning and then it keeps itself up like this and the idea was for it to go up fast enough to create a jerk upwards and get centrifugal force to lift everything up basically all the weight would be shifted over here this is floating in the air like what gyroscopes do um, so the idea was to get it to jerk up and get the centrifugal force to pull uh, all the weight up which would be here all the weight shifted from here to here when it's floating and try to get that weight pulled up but there was no centrifugal force I discovered that there was no centrifugal force you, the thing lifting up while with this thing spinning then moving it upwards creates no no upwards lifts because you know so then you start dealing with speeding up and slowing down gyroscopes to get the centrifugal force that you need for upwards lift so I came up with this concept to get me the centrifugal force that I needed and so centrifugal force of course is just when you lift when you move something this way you get a you know if this for if this wheel was on a slidable which I had it on at one point on a slidable or an adjustable slide anytime you move it like this or like that the wheel is gonna move outwards like this and so that's the centrifugal force so here on this if we look I got a block right here to show that this pendulum it's not meant to act like a pendulum at all it's only to show a forward thrust going this way which is exactly what we get and it's a lot easier and so it's a lot easier than dealing with spinning gyros and controlling your speed to get centrifugal force when we can get centrifugal force simply by rotating mass around like this so this was uh, I was trying to get a simulation to space as close as I possibly could out in uh, outer space there in orbit around the earth or wherever this is supposed to simulate that and so there's no gravity going this way so that's okay there's gravity going up and down so you know that's the only thing but all all the gravity and weight is hanging off this so we're trying to get this to be as weightless as possible and I guess it's sort of weightless but ultimately one would have to sit down for about oh I don't know 20 minutes and visualize this thing out in space or come up with the physics and the math to figure out how this would react if it was only this and this in space so just this right here is our fuelless space drive and this is supposed to simulate a motor and we're letting gravity simulate the motor for us by uh, rotating it like this just like how a motor would do it and this is what we get so if I bring it up to about right here we got our forward thrust
okay it's not exactly forward because we got to hang it from something to try to defy gravity a little bit so there's going to be some rotation but I do believe this is controllable so if I catch it right here you can see that's how much forward thrust thrust we got a one-way forward thrust like so and you know it goes out to a certain point all about right there is how far out it got thrusted that forward it's not exactly linear only because of this it's not linear straight line but it's still going forward okay so if this thing was out in space and if this was a motor okay and this is a mass it doesn't have to be a wheel I just put a wheel on there because it was the easiest thing to attach to this uh, rod but it could be a steel ball it could be a metal ball any kind of mass that has some you know any kind of weight that has some mass to it and so when the motor here in space starts to rotate our mass like this then we get our centrifugal force pushing outwards and so that's how it's getting pulled outwards like that and so this is a, a vertical version of this it can go you know it it can be vertical you can have it horizontal going like this it works the same way or almost horizontal more like a 45 degree angle pendulum but this is a so we're letting gravity simulate the motor for us because that's the easiest thing to do since this isn't an actual motor but it's supposed to be a simulation of a motor out in space and then we can use the motor to rotate our mass over here and we can get a forward thrust and so then all we have to do is keep osculating this and we can get our continuous thrust forward so I'm going to be working on this and continuing experimentation on this. But this is just one tiny little variation of inertial thrust. Let's look at it a few more times. Try to get some distance from it here. And it goes out there. I'm not pushing it. I'm just catching it here. And so this is just a simulation of a motor with a weight on the end of it out in space motor turning the weight creates centrifugal force therefore a forward close to linear thrust one-way thrust uh, I think it's a good step towards a space drive a fuelless space drive that needs no fuel pushing out one side to create a thrust but simply electricity to control the motor to osculate a mass back and forth so um, there it is it's our space space drive our step towards um, inertial propulsion if this was the other way we could get a, a, an upward lift against gravity but maybe we'll try to do that uh, at a later time so there it is just the inertial propulsion feel the space drive creating a one-way thrust and, and this board doesn't have to be here all it does is when i put it right here and i let go it's actually creating a little bit of centrifugal force this way it's like back this way so it actually when it's come down it's actually pulling it a little bit well, let's take a look at it well I gotta actually unscrew this to do that but um it just it's only a little bit it goes back a little bit but mainly there's a lot more forward uh, movement than there is back movement so there's one more time stopped it about right there
So, um, if you have any comments, you know, ideas maybe, you know, leave those down below in the box. Please like and share the video here and uh, on our simple basic principles of a space drive.